So I've been sent this by CarPod Go. I'm just going to open it now. It's an Android and Apple CarPlay device. Hopefully, be able to see it there. Looks like a beautifully made thing there. Screen protector on, I'm assuming that is. I hope I should be taking that off because I did read somewhere about it being protected uh, from edge to edge. So that's the, uh, let's get that off. Can you undo that? No. I just have to pull that off. So I've got most of it anyway, I'll do that later. So right, so that's the screen. Take everything else out. What have we got here? Well done, Buzz. Let's chuck this. Get that. Where's it gone? Right, so that must be the thing for the back. We'll put that there, put that in there, save that. So that's another one, that's a, a stick on pad. So you stick that anywhere, put that in there too. And then, ah, this is the one I'll probably use in here. This vehicle, it's got a great sat nav, real good setup to start off with. So that, but Apple CarPlay is better. Um, I see that slides in and out and so on. Just trying to think of somewhere I can put it without doing any damage. It will probably, I think, let's just see, will it sit in there? So that, that goes in there. Can I, if I tighten that up like so, tighten that up in there and then put that in there with a bit of look you'll be able to see it here we go we've got a reversing camera there a rear view camera which i won't be using so i'll just stick that in there all the wiring that's for hard wiring you can just use this as bluetooth as a screen but in order to play i mean if you had bluetooth speakers as well it would just play in my citroen ami i've got a bluetooth speaker so you would just, you wouldn't really, you just need power to it and you wouldn't need anything else because it would just Bluetooth. So let's just see if we can, that's the auxiliary cable. The power cable, this one is the cigarette lighter plug and power. So also in there looks like you've got a spare sticky pad and a user manual. If you have to use the user manual, then it's too complicated and uh, we don't want that. We, we're, uh, we, <laughs> it's the guy's way, you, you, just, you just struggle. So let's see also on here. So you've got on off, on off switch, and then you've got another, another USB. So let's, as it's stuck, God, it's stuck quite well actually. So here we go. Let's undo that, take this out. Ah. Oh, blimey, is that magnetic too? It's magnetic. That's even better. So when you get out of the car you can just you can just take it out. So right, let's let's get that back into position where we want to see it. This is actually getting better and better. <laughs> As you can tell I I haven't unboxed it before, <laughs> I've no idea. So we can take that off, tighten that up, where well, you can see it then. Just take a strand out of here, then in that, that's, that's like a, a USB-C, that's in there, and then we want auxiliary. Auxiliary, looks like that one. So we'll put that back. In the Range Rover, the auxiliary is just in here. We've also got a power in. 
shut that and then here we go into the cigarette lighter hopefully it works and there it's switched on straight away now th this this is the good thing let's let's just see i've never used it before there's a bluetooth symbol there this is working all my uh this is working all my cameras but we'll just go to settings bluetooth and watch out at the bottom it's already brought up pnd 22 ab i'm assuming that's that's this so i'm just going to click it to start off with click see what happens bluetooth pairing request pair allow contacts and favorites to sync allow where's it gone use carplay now use carplay there you go it's connecting allow carpod go to check for carplay apps allow that's it i mean it's as simple as that what's that take me five minutes um not read the instructions not done anything that's that's carplay over on the side here if i just go to there it mirrors my phone here so we we've got whatsapp audible drive smarter that gives me a warning of any speed cameras when i'm using it um calendar audio books music phone and you you don't need to do anything at all you you absolutely don't need to do anything if i just go to um this will be on auxiliary so if i go if i turn this up i go to audio video and then i set source on auxiliary so that's auxiliary so that's how you would set it up if you haven't got bluetooth if you have got bluetooth your phone will connect to the bluetooth device in your car for the music and it will also you just use this as a display so play black magic woman now playing black magic woman by fleetwood mac you got a black magic woman right now i'm going to unplug the auxiliary so unplug the aux this is because it's on bluetooth if you haven't got bluetooth this is what you would need to do plug the auxiliary in i've got bluetooth put my phone over there that, that's that's the thing without touching that is a good system but compared to apple carplay it's absolutely defunct you're driving along hey siri play dire straits money for nothing now playing money for nothing by dire straits that's all through bluetooth you can do everything through bluetooth you don't have to touch your phone take your hands off the steering wheel hey siri navigate to manchester airport getting directions to manchester you'll see here it's getting directions it says go there but i don't even have to touch it if you just leave it it's already set off to manchester airport head northwest on blackburn road then at the roundabout Turn left onto Kitling Bourne Brown. So that's it. You don't have to touch it. If I just do that, you'll see it's gone from nighttime viewing to daylight viewing. Um, hey Siri, navigate to Starbucks. One option I found is Starbucks on Sheep Hill Lane in Chorley. It adds seven minutes to your route. Is that the one you want? Yes. Getting directions. Starbucks. So that's also added a, a stop off or um, a, a, a diversion on the, on the route I'm going. Hey Siri, shuffle music. All right, shuffling music from your Apple Music Library. It, you can just do anything with it. Right, I'll, I'll put it on text and I'll just hold my phone up as well just just to indicate so I, I don't need to hold my phone or anything but um so it's on there you can see the messages hey siri send a message to barry what do you want to say to barry i'm just testing this new carpod go um apple carplay unit it's absolutely fantastic it says I'm just testing this new car, Podgo. I am Apple CarPlay unit. It's absolutely fantastic. Do you want to send it or change it? Send, please. Done. There you go. So 
it's got the message you'll see there there's a one in the messages so hey Siri read messages Barry said I'm just testing this new car pod go I am Apple CarPlay unit it's absolutely fantastic would you like to reply no thank you that's everything you send text it reads text you've got WhatsApp um, here we go audible just click on audible there's all the books I'm, I've been listening to so it's quite on me well so <laughs> it's it's so much better than the ordinary unit and for the price um, to, to be fair you can't you can, <laughs> you can't beat it I've got a good mind to, to certainly leave this in the Range Rover because it, it's far better than the actual unit. Um, YouTube Music, you can play anything. Um, Spotify, YouTube Music, Amazon Music. So Spotify, I'm pretty sure I've got that. There we go. Spotify would like to find and connect to devices on your local network, so allow. Daily Mix, Linda Ronstad. Oh, I like her. It's an absolutely brilliant system. Apple CarPlay should be fitted into everything. And if you haven't got it, you can soon fit it. It's dead easy. All you need is a, a, a supply auxiliary in, which will use your own speakers. If you've already got Bluetooth, you can just use that as a display. And your phone does the rest. But, <laughs> whereas, I know, I know it's crazy, whereas you can't touch that, it would seem that you can touch this and it just mirrors your phone. See there? It's, everything that will work on CarPlay is, is showing. Um, WhatsApp. Do you want to send a message or make a call? Let, let's, we'll just see. So you can, you can call on WhatsApp. We'll, we'll just see. Hey Siri, send a WhatsApp message to Barry. What do you want to say to Barry? I'm still testing this uh, CarPod Go, Apple CarPlay unit, and I still think it's fantastic. Your WhatsApp message says, I'm still testing this CarPod Go Apple CarPlay unit and I still think it's fantastic. Do you want to send it or change it? Send, please. Done. There's the message. I'm still testing this carpet. Go Apple CarPlay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, apart from that, that, that's not the people who make the actual unit. It's, it's uh, Siri not understanding me. I mean, with, with Google Maps and, and, and Apple Maps, you can share your destination. So if you're meeting somebody there, you can send them a pin. And uh, in fact, quite, quite funny, the other day, a friend of mine, is, uh, he, he's got a Cessna. And he was flying over and he, he sent me a message saying, <laughs> like, whereabouts are you? And I, I went outside to, to wave as he was flying over. And he said, no, send me a pin. <laughs> don't, don't wave, send me a pin. So uh, next, next time I'll just be able to send him a pin through this. But re really, I, I, I promise you, I can't, I can't lie to save my life. I have another unit like this and I have that in my Citroen Ami. I wanted, the reason it's taken me so long to test this is I wanted to put this in my Citroen Ami, uh, but it's having a heater fitted. And um, I've got it in my Citroen Ami. It's fantastic. I bomb along in my Citroen Ami. It's got a Bluetooth speaker in it. There's no wires at all. There's just this that goes to power. No wires whatsoever to the Bluetooth speaker. And, and it's, it's absolutely brilliant. I can, I can send text. I can listen to text. I can, I can do whatever I want without taking my hands off the steering wheel, without getting into to trouble. It, it's just brilliant. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.